Yeah. We love you. <laughs> All right, so this is how today is going to be. <laughs> okay. Up next, we've got Amanda Ferroni. 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 Please take the stage. Thank y'all. That was such a lovely poem. Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to read the beginning of a short story. Um, probably going to be under the three minutes. So. It's called The Only One Here Who Knows Me. While I wait for Noah to call me, I read about Kevura, the Jewish burial tradition, and tap my toes to the busted up pipe that beats downstairs. It's a humid Wednesday afternoon in Chicago. According to Shiva.com, we have to get Jesse's body into the ground as soon as possible. It's already been 48 hours, only five since I've known. I check my call history, three messages from Jesse that I've heard, one that I haven't, and none from the person I'm waiting to hear from now, Jesse's brother, Noah. Hours pass and I hear nothing. I listen to The Rapture's newest album on repeat. I buy a ticket on my favorite O'Hare LAX route from the past five months, which takes off tomorrow at dawn. I cancel all my tutoring appointments for the week. I fold my clothes the way I learned in the towel room at UMass in neat flat squares and stack them in my open suitcase which still smells like the Malibu beach. That morning, I'd seen the messages on my phone populating my feed, studded with RIPs and miss you bros and emojis. I was on my way out for a run. I'm still wearing pink sneakers and sweatpants. On my bedroom ceiling, there is a watermark that Jesse thought looked like an LP. From my side of the bed, I thought that the curved edges looked like the Lemniscat symbol, the sign for infinity. Over the past five months, it's gotten worse. Strips of paint curling away from it, the mark turning green and then blue and then black. I called my landlord Val dozens of times, but she never came to fix it. If I stand on my bed and stretch my arms long, I can reach it with the tips of my fingers. I trace the mark now, glad that it's there, that I have evidence, though of what, I'm not sure. In the middle of the night, when the pipe starts up again and I still haven't received the call, I log back on to Shiva.com. I read about its namesake, the week during which the primary mourners sit together. Father, sister, brother, mother, and wife, they are the ones who count. All others are considered bystanders, rubbernecking someone else's grief. I call Noah and wait until it goes to voicemail. I'm coming, I say. I would have been there sooner if you'd called me. Below me, the pipe crescendos into a rageful, percussive climax. What are you going to do, ban me? 